In this video, we will see how to prepare financial statements. The financial statements comprise the income statement, owner's equity statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statement. In the income statement, the financial performance of a business is measured. It records all the revenues earned and expenses incurred in a specific period, showing the resultant figure, which will be the net income or net loss. An owner's equity statement is prepared to determine the closing balance of the owner's equity after incorporating changes such as addition or deletion of capital and net income or loss at the end of an accounting period. A balance sheet shows the financial position of a company. A statement of cash flow shows how changes in the balance sheet and income affect cash and cash equivalents of a company in a period. It reflects the liquidity of a business and also shows the cash inflows and outflows in a period. A classified balance sheet groups together similar assets and liabilities and owner's equity of a company. Assets are classified as current assets, long-term investments, property, plant and equipment, and intangible assets. The liabilities are classified as current liabilities, long-term liabilities, and owner's equity. Let's take a look at an illustration to see how we prepare financial statements. The adjusted trial balance of Servant Company at the end of the fiscal year July 31st year 2 is provided. We are required to prepare an income statement, owner's equity statement, and a classified balance sheet. Let's first prepare the income statement. On top of the statement, we record the three title lines, the name of the company, the type of the statement, and the financial period. We'll start with revenues. Revenues for Servant consists service revenue of $67,000 and rent revenue of $9,000. Thus, total revenues amount to $76,000. Next, we list expenses. The expenses for the year are salaries and wages expense of $59,500, utilities expense of $13,000, and depreciation expense of $9,000. Thus, total expenses equal $81,500. By subtracting total expenses of $81,500 from the revenue of $76,000, we arrive at a net loss of $5,500. Next, we will prepare the Statement of Owner's Equity. The beginning balance of the owner's equity is $45,000. From this, we deduct the net loss of $5,500 and the owner's drawings of $15,400, as these reduce the owner's equity balance. By deducting $20,900 from $45,000, we arrive at the ending balance of owner's capital of $24,100. Finally, we will prepare the classified balance sheet. The two major sections of a balance sheet are assets and liabilities and owner's equity. Under assets, we first list current assets that include cash of $10,450 and accounts receivable for $10,310. Thus, the total current assets equal $20,760. Under property, plant, and equipment, we have equipment of $16,200 from which we reduce accumulated depreciation of $6,500, resulting in the net value of the equipment of $9,700. Thus, we get the total assets of $30,460. Under liabilities and owner's equity, we first list current liabilities. It includes accounts payable of $4,760 and unearned rent revenue of $1,600. Hence, the total current liabilities are $6,360. There are no long-term liabilities. Under owner's equity, we record the closing balance owner's capital of $24,100. This amount is taken from the owner's equity statement. By adding $6,360 and $24,100, we arrive at total liabilities and owner's equity of $30,460. Note that this is equal to the total assets. 